we go. Go do your thing, woman. Being the passenger, you get all the fun jobs of opening gates and passing everything to everyone. It's all part of the job, I guess. Now, I bet he's going to try and do a trick I taught him. You drive off on the person who's trying to get back in the car. Gotta keep guessing, right? <laughs> so cheeky. Actually, can you drive? I'm going to fly the drone. Sure. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new series. In this series, we're exploring the Whit Sundays region. Right now, we're on a cattle station somewhere between Bowen and Early Beach. It's a hip camp. There's mud, there's midges, and I love it. It's so good to get away from the caravan parks and experience a bit of this. We've had an awesome time here. We're gonna roll on with some of the clips of what we got up to while we were staying out here at Ben Lomond Station. We've just left from the tinny launch. We're about to go and see if we can get out to the main river and catch a few fish. Who's excited? Me! And I'm going to use a fish rod. Here comes another one. Look out. Oh, my hat. Oh, my hat. Stop. I thought he was 
doing it on purpose, but <laughs> apparently not. Can't go over it, we'll have to go under it. <laughs> it did not touch me, mommy. In this dark and smoky room, with your face reflecting bright green, brights and blues. You know I kind of want to disappear with you, but I don't think that is what I would usually do. You know it's just like I felt the heat the moment he pressed his lips up against mine. Don't wanna fuck this whole thing up like I do every time. Dragging it behind us. <laughs> Heavy sweet. Yeah. Did you almost pull it out of your hand? Yeah. Um, I wonder what, what I could. Tangled up in the hooks, funny. Oh boy. Oh, Yay, Daddy! Can we pull it out? Can you try? Here you go, and you hold it for a bit. Pull it out first, Trevally. A photo, big smiles. You can give him a pat on his head. Okay, I'm gonna throw him back in now, all right? You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Isn't that great? Let's go again. Yeah. Love to catch a bigger one of these. Hmm. But for now, that guy is really We're on. Good mangrove jack. Yes, <laughs> that's what we were looking for. Wow, what a beautiful fish.
we've got to figure out how to get the boat out of here. I don't think I'm coming down with the trailer. I think I'm just going to drag it out with a snatch strap.
You got any in this trap, Kaylee? <sighs> no. <laughs> I'm off to check the crab pots this morning. The kids are finally over it, considering how little success we've had and how bad the midges have been heading out there. They're off that way, so let's go get it. There's the cod. Here we are at trap number two. Fingers crossed. Come on, I want some chili mud crab. Honestly, look at this creek. There's something fishy going on here. As I'm walking out, I notice there's quite a few footprints out here, but mine are the only two traps down this way, so I am starting to wonder if somebody is not checking these for us. I think if we're going to catch a feed of mud crabs while we're here, we're going to have to try and change tactics. All right, so the change of tactics is I'll come out with the tinny, going to move these crab traps out into the main channel and see how we go out there. But would you believe it, I've just pulled the first trap out and we got a crab! <laughs> Yay! Alright, let's see how we go out here in the main channel. We'll hopefully get the boat in, in the morning and come out and check them. Maybe we'll be able to have a good feed of crabs tomorrow night. through the mud was worth it. I'm super excited for this afternoon. We've actually got a few mud crabs in the fridge, so we're gonna do a bit of a chili crab cook up tonight. Gonna to get this fire started nice and early. Would you believe the kids have actually got that all put together, and ready to go for me. I didn't even have to ask. I love how well trained I've got them these days. So we're gonna get this fire started and then I'll run you through my chili crab recipe. That's all it's gonna take. These kids have got the uh, fire building process down to a fine art now. I'm pretty confident that that's gonna light up. Okay, so this afternoon we're cooking up my version of chili crab. It's certainly not your traditional chili crab. I'm kind of just using some of the ingredients that I have on hand. So for aromats, I've got a bit of onion and some garlic. So first job, I'm gonna chop that up. I would really like to have some ginger, but we just don't have any ginger out here. If you do have ginger, I definitely suggest throwing some ginger in as well. To my pile of onion, I'm going to spoon in a good dollop of chopped garlic. And I really like spicy, so I'm going to stick in a few chili flakes. I was just digging through the cupboard and I saw I've got a few Szechuan peppers so I think that certainly won't hurt things. I'm going to grind up a few Szechuan peppers. Get a load of the size of my mortar and pestle. <laughs> That's caravan life for you. These are going to be our aromats. So in here we've got our chopped onion, a bit of chopped garlic, I've added in some chili flakes and I also found in the cupboard some Szechuan peppers. Certainly not a traditional ingredient, but I'm gonna put them in anyway. I love spicy and they can't hurt. Uh, so these are gonna go in first and the next thing that's gonna go in the crabs, which speaking of, we better get them prepared. Okay, just got a bucket for the waste. So we're just gonna flip open the flap, get our fingers in between the carapace and the body break this flap away if we can. <clears throat> I'm 
good. We don't need that. I'm gonna take away the mandibles and clean out the insides. Clear off all of these gills. Just gonna give the insides a bit of a clean out and a rinse. Next we are going to break the middle then. We're gonna break the carapace. We're gonna break half the crab in half again. I like to give the legs and the claws a little bit of a crack so that our sauce is gonna get inside while they're cooking so that all the meat's gonna get flavor with our sauce. There you have it, one section of crab ready to go. Well, there you have it guys, that crab is all prepped up and ready for cooking. That sun is starting to set behind me, so I think what I'm gonna do is put the drone up and give you guys a look around of where we're camping. Some of our lovely coals into our cooking arena. First, we're going to fry off our aromats. After they've cooked off for a bit, it's time to add some cassava. Now a little sweet chili sauce. Okay, a lot of sweet chili sauce. And did I mention I like spicy? So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of sriracha plus some extra heat. When that sauce is up to a boil, it's now time to throw in our fresh, self-caught and prepared mud crabs. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. sauce over the top of this and I'm gonna sit by the fire and indulge myself and there is no elegant way to eat this you're gonna get messy so we're gonna be having a shower tonight but luckily it's dark so you're not gonna see me eating 